Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is a little bit of a different one. <laughs> I am currently in Florida visiting Logan and I was actually going to turn this into like a series, like come shop with me too. But things happen and I tried to do it last time at Walmart and I brought my camera and forgot my battery. Just this and that. So this is probably going to be the only video that I'm going to film. But I thought it'd be cool if I took you guys to come shopping with me at target or super target in america i'm trying not to go too overboard i did buy a little bit at walmart already yesterday and i tried to take out more money today <laughs> at a chase bank branch and they took my money and withdrew it from my bank account but gave me no cash so i'm down like 700 american no not even american 700 australian dollars at the moment and logan's gonna have to <laughs> pay for this for now for me so i'm gonna try not to give him a heart attack and not go too crazy but sure come along with me and shopping to target Ooh. you can't even see oh there it is right on the corner so i'm gonna say in advance sorry if it gets really awkward and there's a lot of people around and stuff i might tell logan to like shut off the camera and stuff because i mean it's target and i'm sure there'll be a lot of people around i don't know how cool they are the filming so sorry if it's an awkward video <laughs> <laughs> so I just passed all the nails because I think I have plenty of nail polish. I'm kind of curious about the lashes. Oh, Fox Mink. So I haven't tried like Ardell lashes in a really long time, but since it's cheap here, I'm thinking that it go. Are they a little too much? <laughs> Looking like, uh, I don't know. Purple Whiskies. This one's four dollars. <laughs> so I think I'm basically like gonna go down every single aisle and just like look at each brand. I think I'll leave it to have that in Australia. Alme. Now we used to have Alme at Priceline where I used to work and then they got rid of it, which a lot of people are annoyed at because it's like good for people who have really sensitive eyes and skin stuff. Blue Which one? Yeah, I could rock a blue. <laughs> now pink suits or something I was super excited to find. They only sell this in Sephora in Australia and they're super super famous for their glow tonic, which I did buy already. I've only used it a couple times. I don't know about it yet, but my skin is like hard at the moment. So <laughs> that's actually surprisingly well not it's not super expensive, but I think it's a pretty expensive drugstore. $15 for toner. I was wanting to try this, it's like a peeling mask, but it's $24, which is like pretty expensive, so. Oh, they've got a vitamin C there. It's huge. It doesn't say what percentage though. Oh, it has a little leak leak. I kind of want to try another tone of like that. Rose and Elderflower Nourishing or Brightening? Brightening. In shower steam facial. Self-heating collagen. Mm. Oh, there's a retinol one as well. I don't know guys, I'm kind of scared of red ones, so I haven't really tried it much, so I'm not leaving. I think I'm going to try this one. <laughs> These are so pretty. The only thing that sucks at drugstores is they have no testers, so they can't try anything. So I think that's nice. Oh, they've got roll up eyeshadow. I think I'm going to leave it. I'm not as interested in their makeup. In all honesty, I'm more interested in their skincare. Alright, Maybelline. They have a huge section. Oh, it's just a lemonade. Yeah, that's cute. We've got lemonade craze and then soda pop. Which one do you like best? Logan? Lemonade? Because you like lemonade? No, it's not even that. I like the colors. The colors? Oh, this I do want to try. $5.90. That's so cheap. Oh, that's cool. I don't understand how everything's like this much cheaper. Ooh. <laughs> I'm 
I went to Walmart yesterday to find my color in the Asia wines and they were sold out and they sold out again. They sold out of the full lighter shades. I'm probably fair light. I'm just gonna have to do a guessing game with colours. I think that's too dark. That's like my skin tone, right? This one's too pale. That one's too pale. This one's too pale. I thought it was nice. Mm -hmm. I'm a pro. Hmm? I'm a pro. <laughs> you smell good. Oh my god, I forgot I was wearing this. Oh, for real. I'm sorry, I like didn't think about it. It's okay, it's gone mostly. Remember we looked at this purple one? It was like a purple one, but they don't have it here actually. The difference with Walmart is everything is actually sealed still, which is nice. Walmart, like everyone just like rips open everything and tries it. Yeah, I would have tried it if there was that purple. That purple one was really pretty. When the mask was trying. Oh, was it? Not Maybelline. I don't know. This is felt. Actually, I bought a ton of eyeliner in Japan. I was like, Bumper, please. Duo sculptor. Oh, it's like a liner and a gloss. It's interesting. I'm not a huge lip liner or gloss person though. I'm trying to get into it, but not. What is that? Photo Ready Candid. Bold New Bear. Revlon Photo Ready Candid Natural Finish Anti Pollution Foundation. Ooh, what is this? <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Rose Glow. I wonder what the little things are in it. By the way, sorry for my face. I've been wearing this makeup for like seven hours today, so I'm sorry for this. I ended up buying that yesterday, right? The other day. I did buy it. can't remember. I think I did. So let's try not to double up on it. The Word of Wild Sensual Color. All right, I think I'm gonna get some lip smackets. What do you think? I think so. <laughs> oh, this is like the cube type. Oh, look! What it's in like a little like pyramid. Oh, I see. It's kind of cute, isn't it? What's this one? Stormtrooper ice cream clone mm. flavor. And they have Boo. Oh, lots of cute. What's this? Pink strawberry. What else would it be? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Woody never translate to match really quite well. And then Buzz. <laughs> it's like mm. the most Asian thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, look, this one's like a panda and a unicorn together. <laughs> it's like you and Kirsten. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna get one. What do you think? I say, I don't know, I would say go with this one because I feel like more people will end up with That one? Yeah. I'm just thinking this is really big and also it, it's like a like a milky color so mm. I don't know how that would be. Whereas this one's like a translucent yeah. pink. Yeah. And it's strawberry, so I feel like it would it's a safer bet than vanilla. Plus I have my issues with that other one anyway. What other one? The stormtrooper one. Oh you've had it before? I'm Hi. saying I have issues with the whole marketing of it. Because it's a stormtrooper from original trilogy, yeah, it says ice cream clone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. That's They're good. not clones. <laughs> that's good. You're right. I'm actually really excited for that. I'm gonna put it on my bag and have a little lip balm charm. Glowy lip color. Cream bay. <laughs> or jelly bean dream. I feel like this is nice. It's kind of like a neutral. Ooh, look at that. There's some rainbow. See, that's the highlight that I brought with me, and I'm using it right now. I actually have it. Can you see it? I actually think the name is really cute. Love you so much. Picked up some things that next. I'm trying to find the new concealer, which I'm really excited about. Tati reviewed it. Remember when I was watching a video one day? And I'm like, I'm watching this to see if I'm watching this. Oh, look, they have all the primers set out there. America's number one primers? <sighs> Gotta give it a go. Six dollars. I think hydrating primer sounds good. Because I have old dry skin these days, apparently. Also, they have a primer mist or a dewy setting mist with coconut. Which one do you think sounds better? Primer mist, that means it's like before makeup here. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> that was a very long pause. This is interesting. The perfect matcha. It's a matcha cleansing bar. I'm like curious. Although I have so many cleansers at the moment, so probably won't get it. So I've got a shout out to L'Oreal Carnival. Such a wide color range. Like that's pretty good. I think I'd be uh, no, just kidding, I don't know. Ooh, I was kinda curious to try this. Do you remember? But they were all open at Walmart. That one's open. Is it bad if I try an open one? It's kind of thick though. Ooh, it's really pretty. It's a full shimmer. But I put way too much on it. Now I have no tissues. <laughs> Glow Amor Glow Boosting Drops in Daybreak. Skin Bloom. <laughs> what kind of small one? Oh, they have like. Oh my god, do you have that? There's so many. Do you see this? We've got lavender, coconut water, unscented. Ultra hydrating. This sounds nice. Ultra hydrating, hydrating moisturizer. There's like a section with this, like miniature versions of a lot of things, right? Maybe I'll have it there. Like this is a little big, I'm just gonna try it. I feel like CeraVe is something that's been around and it's really popular in America, right? Yeah. And I've never tried it. But I'm kind of keen because look, they're doing like hyaluronic acid and stuff, so I'm kind of curious. But I saw a review about this being like really, really nice for hydrating for my It's just like a, it's like a cream with ceramides and hyaluronic acid. $6 or $15. But I've never tried it, so I should probably just get it. This one seems so real big. I used to be obsessed with Garnier Baby all the time. And now I'm like, okay. I've been using this lately. The Garnier one. But it smells kind of different, doesn't it? I don't, I don't know what the smell is, but it smells kind of... It smells like a... Medicine, is that what you said? No, like a cleaner. Cleaner, which is a great. I mean, I've used like half the bottle. They smell like bathroom cleaners. 99% naturally derived ingredients. Maybe the fragrance isn't it. Yeah. I think it is cool they're doing this like vegan range. Like the whole range of vegan. I don't know. I'm curious what this brand is. I've never tried or like haven't even known much about it. Because you can always use more toner. Number seven. I don't know. I haven't heard much about it. So I'm just kind of curious. Try and I have soap and glory in Target, which this is like supposed to be like a high end brand ish in Australia. They have it in like Mecca and stuff, so, which I've never really tried. I think I've tried like hand cream, and that's about it. They're quite big. Cleansing milk. Peaches in Japan with like mm -hmm. a mintiness mm -hmm. to it as well. It smells good. Yeah, it smells good. I feel like it'll make your skin feel like. Probably don't need it because I have too many cleansers. I want to try it, but. I'll try it for you. <laughs> the like, price is pretty. It's not too bad. With, like how big everything is. Quite generous in there. Oh, they, they have tons of Neutrogena. I know. That's what I'm looking at. This. Mm -hmm. I feel like we should try one of the last. Yeah, you want to? Mighty Marshmallow. Bright and Radiant Whipped Mask. In the Honey Mega Moisturizing Lavender. I don't like that. Watermelon. Reviving and de-stressing overnight mask. <laughs> Logan's like, yep. Or the Mint Chip Mania. <laughs> Cooling and Soothing Ice Cream Textured Mask. You don't like mint chocolate chip ice cream? No, but I do like ice cream. I got my goodies! So, I got my goodies. We didn't film checking out because Target actually has like cameras like right in front where you're checking out now. Which, has that always been a thing? No. Self checkout. Yeah, it's self checkout, which we like always self checkout. But, my total came to, I do have some Pop Tarts on here, so minus that. 
my makeup kit was like $109, which I don't think is that bad for like what I got. But I think I was quite tame. Logan said he was surprised. So that's the fact that the bank took my money today. I think that's... <laughs> now I have to call my Australian bank and figure out how I can get my money back. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> See you guys next time. Bye!